on this Independence Day weekend. Please stand. Just as a savior is meek, 
riding on an ass, on a colt, the foal of an ass. He shall banish the chariot from Ephraim and the horse from Jerusalem. The warrior's bow shall be banished. He shall proclaim peace to the nations. His dominion shall be from sea to sea and from the river to the ends of the earth. The word of the Lord. Hallelujah. 
The Lord be with you. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. At that time, Jesus exclaimed, I give praise to you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, for although you have hidden these things from the wise and the learned, you have revealed them to little ones. Yes, Father, such has been your gracious will. All things have been handed over to me by my Father. No one knows the Son except the Father. No one knows the Father except the Son. And anyone to whom the Son wishes to reveal him. Come to me, all who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, and learn from me, for I am meek and humble of heart, and you will find rest for yourselves, for my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. The Gospel of the Lord. The scriptures tell us so very, very much about our human life that's caught up with the divine life of God. How beautiful it is, these two that are inseparable, the human and the divine, body and soul, carrots and peas. There are some things that just naturally seem to go together. By our experience, we can see it does make a difference. And in the Gospel, Jesus says, No one knows the Father except the Son, and anyone to whom the Son wishes to reveal Him. Father and Son. Jesus, speaking of His Heavenly Father, and his whole purpose for being born into this world, taking on human nature, is that we could see what God is like. We could experience not a God of ultimate anger, but a God who is merciful and just. A God who looks for the good of his people to grow and to come back to him, to find their way home. Jesus then says, Come to me, all you who labor and buy my burdensome. I will refresh you. Labor and refresh you. Human toil and the grace that restores life. This balance Jesus came to show us is a part of creation's goodness. I was just thinking hearing these sorts of things come to me. He's taught these to the merest children. You remember that little thing that lots of schools put up on their bulletin boards? Everything I needed to know I learned in kindergarten. Oh, that is the cutest thing in the world. And in fact, I looked at it again today just to be sure. And sure enough, it is precious. Share. Let other people Share some of the things that you have. Clean up your own mess. Don't hit anybody. It makes such great sense. Flush. That's a little early, but it's true. You've got to teach. And in each way, as this continues on and continues on, it shows just how to be one with the other. And when we do such a thing, there is peace. There is compassion. There is understanding. Don't take something that doesn't belong to you. Put back whatever you take. These lessons from childhood are lessons of how the human can make manifest the divine commandment. To live and to live together. 
And the other one that I really like is when you go out, stay together and hold hands. Right? And it ends up, as it gets toward the end, it says, yes, all of these things are important. And if people were able to remember that warm milk and warm cookies and cold milk go so well together. And if they would have in the afternoon at 3 o'clock a warm cookie and a cold glass of milk, you're not lactose intolerant. And then take a nap. And then when we go out, know that it's always better to stick together, hold hands. We begin to see that the human and the divine can mingle very, very well. To be attentive to the other, to leave no one behind. Not to run ahead or not to lag behind but to be as children of God, careful for one another. The first reading spoke about the Savior coming in, riding on a donkey. It's as if to say, don't miss the blessings that are right there with you. You think the Savior might come in this great lightning or whatever it might be? No, He's going to be right there with you. The human and the divine will but the divine will come right into your human life. Don't miss the blessing. Don't miss him. He is here. St. Paul says, if we're people of the Spirit, we will recognize him. So, on this wonderfully, wonderfully chosen day, coming to the Lord's day, Welcome him. Rejoice in him. He is with us in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health. And when we pray the Lord's Prayer, when we come to the words, Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Preparing to receive the body and blood of all we will know this is why he came to bring us together never to be separated again let us pray I believe in one God
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord For unborn children who are in danger of abortion, may they be given the chance to live the life that God has planned for them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord Not those responsible for public safety, especially firefighters, police, and military personnel, come home safely to their families. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord for the souls of Rocky and Zelda Menier, and for all parishioners and guests for which this Mass is being offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord. For the sick of our parish and our families, for the intentions entered in our parish books of prayer, and for the unspoken prayers deep in the silence of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord These and all things we ask through Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May this oblation, dedicated to your name, purify us, O Lord, and day by day bring our conduct closer to the life of heaven, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord. Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for out of compassion for the waywardness that is ours, he humbled himself, was born of the Virgin, by the passion of the cross, he freed us from unending death. By rising from the dead, he gave us life eternal. So, with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we have claimed.
God of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Lord Jesus 
Christ who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you all. Amen. In silence, let us pray for peace in our hearts, peace in our family, peace and healing in our hearts. Let us pray. Grant we pray, O Lord, that having been replenished by such great gifts, we may gain the prize of salvation and never cease to praise you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Let us go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. God bless you all. Thank you so very, very much as you observe so many of our, our needs at this time. God bless you and take care of you. Also, Father is celebrating a wedding today, and that's why I'm a sanctuary temple. That is why I'm filling in so that he can bless that marriage. And so I'm happy to bless you in his those who be receiving Holy Communion, he can do the way to be done. Yes, thank you. Um, as we have typically done, we will observe spacing, the line on the part of the food. As you approach the very last line, please watch your mask. For those of you who would like to receive on the front, we request that you do that last, from up last. And there are dealers for those of you who would like to receive. So, at this point, I'll put on my mask. 